Hey Calvary family, Pastor Ruth here, just to offer you some encouragement this Tuesday. Um, after such a great message on Sunday, uh, I was really blessed by it listening back, and it was really cool to teaching the kids such a familiar story, David and Goliath, you know, it's a classic children's story. It's the kind of story that kids just love to revisit over and over. It's about an underdog, it's about facing your fear, and it's so great to, you know, teach it from the context of kids church and how that applies to kids and what that looks like when they face their fear at home or at school and then to listen to the sermon online and hear pastor dan share about what that looks like as an adult as you know an adult christian going through life that has struggles and has battles and it really spoke to me um my family is going through a lot right now and there are a lot of battles and giants that seem impossible to overcome and one of my favorite parts of the sermon as I was listening to it was a, actually a, it was a couple sentences, it was a sentence that Pastor Jan got from Bible Engagement Project. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like part of the devotional maybe or something along those lines, but I'm just going to read it to you. It says, like David, our obstacles can become opportunities if we put our faith in God. David had incredible faith. And sometimes, you know, we focus on just the fear aspect and how brave he was and how he overcame his fear and how he faced his giant and won. But the faith that David had was not faith in himself or faith in the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm sure things will be okay, but it was faith in God. And it was knowing that God was on his side. And I think that was just really cool. You know, our obstacles can become opportunities if our faith is in God. And how Pastor Dan talked about, you know, David, you know, all he had was that stone in the one hand, but he knew that that other hand had God on his side. And that made the difference. That faith made the difference in his battle. And I also really liked how Pastor Dan talked about, you know, David overcame things in his past. You know, he defeated the lion and the bear. And I'm sure, uh, like me, you guys have things that God has brought you through in the past. You have probably had times where you had to put a little bit of extra faith in a situation, right? You had to trust God a little bit more than you normally do. I just wanted to encourage you today, you know, maybe you're facing that giant and you've forgotten about those little battles or what seemed big in the moment, but you now look back and you're like, man, God really brought me through that. But now this thing I'm facing is so big. It's so different. But I just want to remind you of David. And he took those obstacles and he made them opportunities to increase his faith. He looked back on those battles that he won with the lion and the bear and was like, you know what? God is on my side. I can put my faith and trust in him. He follows through. He'll help me accomplish this. And it was really cool on Sunday to get to say that to the kids, um, that, you know, the obstacles that they're facing are no less real than what we face or what I'm facing. But God will follow through and he won't leave us and he'll be right there with us and he'll get us through. And, you know, it, sometimes you say those things and you understand the truths, but really, like, when you're in that battle where you're facing that Goliath, it's a little harder to put into practice. So I just wanted to encourage you today, you know, if you're facing a giant, like Pastor Dan said, sometimes our, our first instinct isn't even to pray anymore. It's just to worry about it. And I know I've definitely been there. I feel like um, with some of the giants that my family's facing, you know, my initial instinct was, oh, yeah, I'm going to pray about it. But it's been so long that now my initial instinct is, I'm just going to worry about it. I'm just going to overthink it. But I want to encourage you today, like I'm going to do this week and make an extra effort to make my first instinct prayer. And my first instinct to trust in God and remember the battles that he's brought me through. And even though this seems like a big giant compared to a lion, I know that I can trust in God. And that as long as, you know, I'm holding tight to him, everything will end up exactly how it should. So I hope you guys are encouraged by that today. Pastor Dan's sermon was incredible. So if you have not listened to it yet, I please watch it. It was so good. And then if you're not following along in the Bible engagement with the um, like devotionals and stuff, it's just really good and it helps center you for the week. So I just want to encourage you guys, take a look back at those. Take a look back at the Bible engagement project from last week or weeks prior if you haven't. There's just a lot of good things in there. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday.